As you gaze into the vastness of space and witness the twinkling dance of billions of stars, each one seems to raise a silent question that has plagued humanity for generations. Are we alone in the cosmos? Now a groundbreaking instrument has been launched into orbit, the James Webb Space Telescope. This technological marvel works like a powerful magnifying glass, offering unprecedented clarity in revealing the intricate details of distant planets. Recently, the JWST set its sights on a remarkable target, K-21T-B, an enigmatic exoplanet. Initial observations of K-218b sparked a wave of excitement within the scientific community. This celestial body was no ordinary planet. Not only did K-218b exhibit the presence of water vapor, a potential indicator of availability, but it also contained a molecule that arose deep intrigue, a molecule often associated with biological processes on Earth. Could this be the momentous revelation humanity was waiting for, the confirmation of extraterrestrial life? In this video, we'll dwell deeper into K-218b, exploring the scientific challenges and far-reaching implications that could reach shape our understanding of the universe. Let's embark on an investigation of the first tangible image of K-218b. Located 120 light-years away, K-218b is a super-Earth within its solar system, distinguished by its classification as a sub-Neptune. Unlike anything in our own cosmic backyard, this planet is larger than Earth, but smaller than Neptune, defying conventional planetary categories. This unique status presents a considerable challenge for scientists to try to unravel the mysteries of K218b. While rocky planets like Earth and Mars serve as a benchmark for hypothesis building, distant gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn offer tentative comparisons for understanding this distant world. However, sub-Neptunes, which have no familiar counterparts in our cosmic neighborhood, remain an enigma. The data available so far suggests some fascinating theories. For example, K218b boards in the habitable zone of its host star, a red dwarf called K218, raising the possibility that its surface may harbor liquid water similar to Earth's oceans. It is crucial to note that K218b's orbit around its host star is much closer than Earth's orbit around the Sun. While one astronomical unit, AU, represents the average distance between Earth and the Sun, K218b is only 0.18 AU away from its star, even closer than Mercury. This proximity means that a year on K218b lasts only 13 Earth days. Fortunately, K218b's host star, K218, is a red dwarf, which means it emits less heat than our Sun. This prevents K218b's surface from being completely scorched, unlike what would happen if it were so close to our sun. In fact, K218b's lower luminosity has turned out to be a benefit, as it has allowed signs of vaporized water to be detected in K218b's atmosphere, a groundbreaking discovery that suggests the presence of biological signatures similar to those we would find on Earth. This discovery, which further increases the scientific interest in this exoplanet, is a revolutionary finding that suggests the presence of biological signatures similar to those we would find on Earth. The fact that methane decomposes composes rapidly under solar radiation added even more excitement. The JWST also detected carbon dioxide, a more common atmospheric component. However, the combined discovery of methane and CO2 was very slow. Dimethyl sulfide DMS, unlike methane, is not commonly found in Earth's natural environment. It is a molecule produced exclusively by biological processes. This finding is particularly intriguing, given that K218b orbits a red dwarf star known for its intense radiation and is generally considered inhospitable to life. However, K218b defied these expectations. It is crucial because, on Earth, DMS is only produced from life, mainly by microorganisms in its oceans. It is known to be a reliable biomarker if detected in a planetary environment. As predicted, it is therefore crucial that the planet receives a similar level of radiation and resides within the habitable zone of its star system, where temperatures are neither too hot nor too cold for liquid water to exist, provided there is a stable atmosphere. 
K218b could have temperatures comparable to those of Earth, although with an atmosphere dominated by hydrogen, which would make its oceans slightly warmer than those of our planet. The proximity between the star and the planet is such that they could be considered close companions, as this closeness prevents surface water from evaporating. This detail is of great importance, especially in light of recent research suggesting that surface water could be a distinguishing feature of exoplanets like K218b. Stay tuned, because we will soon delve into revealing details about the mystery of the Hyonic world. In 2021, astrophysicist Nico Mattis, known for his possible discovery of DMS in space, proposed a new category of exoplanets in a fascinating paper published in the Journal of Astrophysics. Sub-Neptunes, cradled beneath a thick hydrogen-rich atmosphere, Mattis has chosen to call this work Hyonic, a name that suggests an unknown and mysterious nature. If these water giants exist, they will be radically different from anything we have ever seen before. Although they could be up to 10 times the mass of Earth and twice the radius, they won't be scorching in a furnace of steam. Yes, they will be incredibly hot, with temperatures approaching. What would define them, however, would be an astonishing feature, a colossal layer of water that could represent up to 90% of the planet's mass. This vast ocean, at least in theory, could harbor the potential ingredients for basic microbial life. These dense atmospheres would trap heat from the star, allowing liquid water to exist over a much wider range of distances from the star, compared to rocky planets like Earth. Sub-Neptunes are relatively common, and hyonic worlds benefit from this extended habitable zone. This makes them ideal targets for the search for life beyond our own planet as larger planets are easier to detect from far distances, making them prime targets for our telescopes. Dr. Misudan's team uses the revolutionary James Webb Telescope to observe K218b, a possible alien world. This tool could be crucial in our search for extraterrestrial life, but there is a challenge. Even with advanced technology like the James Webb, detecting these ocean worlds is a difficult task. The key to unlocking the secrets of K218b lies in a meticulously planned observation, requiring a total of five hours divided into two separate observing periods. K218b played a crucial role in a celestial event known as a transit, during which a potentially similar world passes directly between us and its parent star. James Webb captured the light passing through K218b's atmosphere during this transit. The beauty of this technique lies in the unique fingerprint that starlight carries, like a universal language that reveals the elemental composition of the material with which it interacts. By separating the light into its individual wavelengths, similar to how a prism breaks down white light into a spectrum, scientists can analyze this fingerprint to identify the molecules present in the planet's atmosphere. If specific wavelengths are missing from the final spectrum, it becomes an important clue to understanding the chemical composition of the distant world, allowing researchers to form a complete picture of this environment. Let me know what you think in the comments box. If you liked the video, remember to like and subscribe, share it to reach more people. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next video.